So the Cincinnati Bengals defeat the Buffalo Bills 27 to 10. And my Super Bowl pick is now officially busted because I picked the Bills to come out of the AFC. I thought that they were going to get past the Chiefs and move on to competing for a championship. But Joe Burrow and the Bengals said, nah, -uh. we still own this division or this conference. So we're going to be the ones to try and compete for a championship again. So the Bengals came out uh, pretty much had their way with them the entire game but definitely on their first two drives did whatever they wanted joe burrow was was immediately in a rhythm wide receivers were, were getting open constantly and that's what makes joe burrow and the offenses like cincinnati so dangerous besides the fact that they're loaded and they seem to be well coached and have a nice game plan but what makes this offense so dangerous is that Joe Burrow is very quick and very good at getting the ball out of his hands quickly and this is a offense that can not only hurt you by stretching the field but they can also hurt you by taking what the defense gives them and making plays after the catch. Throughout the entire game the Cincinnati Bengals were able to find soft spots in the zones, run quite a bit of little curl routes between the numbers outside the seams and Joe Burrow was just picking them apart and finding his targets. I thought that Buffalo should have done a better job of trying to press up and jam them on their routes trying to play tight coverage but they didn't do that they played off quite a bit on their receivers and Cincinnati made him pay for it. As far as Buffalo is concerned, oh, and, and by the way, this game was really snowy, and I like seeing games like this. I love the snow. I've always loved these crazy weather type of games. And the Cincinnati Bengals used Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon went 20 for 105 yards, had one touchdown. Samaj Perrine, he had a little bit of a, he got a little bit of the spotlight as well. Only seven attempts, 33 yards rushing but he was targeted five times and had five receptions for 31 yards receiving. As far as Buffalo is concerned, they they did what the Bills do, which is have Josh Allen throw the ball 1,000 times and run the ball seven times, you know. They'll throw the ball for 200 times and then the next three times they'll run the ball and then go back to throwing the ball for another 400 times. <laughs> I'm starting to kind of hate this offense. I'm starting to kind of hate this Buffalo Bills offense. They do not use their running backs. They do not utilize a running game they do not try to dominate at the line of scrimmage and in a game like this where the weather was crazy and it was snowy you needed to have a running game and Cincinnati who hardly runs the football themselves Joe Mixon seems like seems like an afterthought in this offense at times they gave him the football and he capitalized on his opportunities and when the Bills do run the ball it's a running play for Josh Allen or he'll run when the passing play breaks down and he has no one to get it to so you know he'll run and hurdle and try and stiff arm and truck defenders which is so stupid and this guy continues to do way too much after last week i was kind of worried about this defense and it also kind of made me realize after the first two drives that cincinnati had when they went up 14 to nothing that maybe this defense may not be as good as i thought i still think they're talented but they may not be as good as i thought because they jumped up on miami last week 17 to nothing got on early then miami came back and tied it up and then they end up taking the lead and they allowed what 31 points to be scored on them so let me take a look at the bills previous games so against the vikings they gave up 33 points against detroit they gave up 25 the dolphins when they had their second matchup they gave up 29 points and then when they played them again in the wild card they gave up 31 and then they gave up 27 so this defense has been prone to give up some points at times during this season and i also think not having von miller again really was really a big blow to them last week i said that it felt like the only time that they were able to generate pressure was when they were able to blitz and bring their linebackers in to crash the line of scrimmage joe burrow 23 for 36 242 yards two touchdowns he was sacked once i thought he was fantastic this was joe burrow's best performance best playoff performance that he's had so far all of his other performances has been kind of eh. you know i would say this is finally he had a great performance he had a great showing jamar chase eight targets five receptions 61 yards one touchdown hayden hurst i miss him so much i wish he was still in atlanta what a wasted signing that was six targets five receptions 59 yards and had one touchdown and everyone else was pretty quiet josh allen 25 for 42 265 yards one interception he he was getting sacked by trey hendrickson of course it's not a josh allen game unless he's doing something stupid and trying to do too much he was getting sacked and he tried to get rid of the football just take the sack dog stop doing so much 
And by the way, the Bills, not the Bills, the, the Bengals could have finished this game 31 to 10, but Joe Burrow overthrew a pass to Hayden Hurst, and if he had connected, it would have been a touchdown. Mike Singletary, who they barely used, six attempts, 24 yards rushing. James Cook, who they barely used, five, att <laughs> five attempts, 13 yards rushing. Dawson Knox, seven targets, five receptions, 65 yards. Stephon Diggs, now I heard he was being a little bitch on the sidelines and after the game, yelling at Josh Allen on the sideline. And then after the game, he tried to leave because he didn't want to see any reporters, but someone stopped him from leaving and he didn't stay long apparently. Then he fired back on Twitter saying, y'all want me to be okay with losing? It's for these freaking players, man. They're such divas. A lot of them are such divas, but he could have had a big day. Josh Allen missed on some big plays in this game. Buffalo took one too many chances in this game, I thought. They took one too many chances, and then you look at how Cincinnati was performing on offense. They were just taking what the defense gave them, finding holes in the zones, doing little corrals between the, the numbers and outside the seams, throwing it in the flat, um, just taking what they could get, eight yard gains, 15 yard gains, you know, whatever. Gabriel Davis, four targets, two receptions, 34 yards. He could have had a chance to reel in a big catch from Josh, but uh, it was not loose, but still. If he's gonna be named Big Play Gabe, which, which that's what I think they were calling him last week. I think Tony Romo and Jim Nance alluded to that. If he's gonna be called Big Play Gabe, he's gotta reel in that pass. And everyone else was pretty much quiet. So the Bengals are going to face the Chiefs yet again in the AFC Championship game. And I'm not gonna pick who I think is gonna win, but I wouldn't mind seeing the Bengals and the Eagles play. I, you know, I still have the Eagles going to the Super Bowl, but I think if the Bengals and the Eagles meet, I think it's going to be a fun Super Bowl to watch. We'll see what happens there. Um, please like and subscribe. That is it. I am out.